Hey everyone, a few days ago there started to be a lot of chatter about problems so practitioners are having with the Google Play Console right now. So I thought today I would do a quick video to recap what happened, whether you should care about what happened, is there anything you should do about Google changing things, and eventually share my personal thoughts on why Google may be doing this. So what happened? If you go into your Google Play Developer Console in the Store Analysis section, you'll see that there is a change in the traffic recorded per traffic source around February 19th, with search traffic dropping for most apps and explore traffic increasing almost proportionally. This is a result of Google deciding to change how downloads are being attributed to either search or explore traffic. Specifically, what we know is that Google made a change in how they consider certain keywords to now be categorical keywords and therefore seeing those keywords as belonging to explore traffic rather than search traffic. Afterwards, Google has also updated the help pages of the Google Play Console, where it now says that search traffic is composed of installs coming from users who have searched for a brand or closely associated terms to that brand. Now, a word of caution is to check more specifically what keywords are actually now listed under explore and under search. And that's because in the research that we've done, we found that there were keywords that could sometimes appear in both categories at once. So should you care about this? If you're used to only analyzing your store performances through the spectrum of total downloads and visitors, you don't care. This means that depending on your category and business model and basically on your preferred source of traffic, this may not be a massive change for you. But if you are used to analyzing your store performances per traffic source, then obviously the change will impact your work. And that's where what you can do is actually start exporting all of the visitors and acquisitions coming from each keyword available in your Google Play Console to recategorize uh, the traffic sources and specifically understand when did uh, visitors and acquisitions come from someone searching for a keyword, no matter whether Google calls it a search keyword or an explore keyword, and then start optimizing your ASO on that basis. Last but not least, let's talk a little as to why Google may be doing this. Right now at face value, I can only say I don't know because I don't think the change makes any proper sense. If you wanted to split keywords into different categories, that would be very interesting. But then why decide that most keywords actually just belong to the explore traffic source rather than give them a different name? Where I do think it could matter is if you start imagining that this change is preparing for a change in Google Play UI. We know that some brand terms already have a different UI where when you search for a specific brand, you actually get to see a mini store listing preview where you do see some of the screenshots and you get the opportunity to download the app straight from the search results without having to visit the page first. So that's the one thing I believe could explain some of the change. Maybe it will stay there. Maybe there will be more coming. But 
that's my advice if you want to keep an eye out as to the next change. This is what I would monitor. In the meantime, if there's anything you need to do, again, start by just uh, preparing a different way of looking at which keywords drive installs. And again, keep looking for what the user intent is when someone is looking for a certain keyword and how you can maximize the conversion there as well.